Hello, Zima, coming back for another round of EU4's Ottoman campaign. We left the previous episodes. Um, full scale wars going on. We have secured further into Spain with a push for pretty much making Crimea a world power in the east. So now she is owning even more land, but she's going to suffer a lot of overextension. I will assume, and there's going to be a lot of religious issues that it's going to be dealing with. Um, even me, from my end, I still have a lot of the religion I have to convert. Um, in hopes that it'll eventually fix itself out. <laughs> now, Spain's still dealing with us a little bit, but I'm not too concerned with them just due to the fact that there's nothing they can do against me. Also, before we get any more further into this, I have something I gotta desperately check. So, I wanna build some extra forts. So I wanna fort here, fort here. I want a fort down here. And do I own this northern island bit? I do. Meaning I need 10 more points to get that. So dump military into it. And build the final level 8 fort. So now I own level 8s everywhere up here. So this is going to guard all my Atlantic holdings. For the most part. And then you guys can head back to this region. Through the transports. And as I said before, I didn't know where else I wanted to really invade at. Um, I mean, we could do a full-scale war. Where the hell's the Commonwealth? Well, they're dead, so it don't matter. Rusenia is still weak, 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 weak. This is all weak. Bohemia could not fight me. I don't know why the hell they make this an option, but there is no way in hell they'd survive this. I mean, look at this, I could even punch Ruthenia, which would get Bohemia in the war. And I could kick their asses. Like, I could give all this, I could give most of this land to Kremia and just punch Bohemia just to punch Bohemia. One dick move I probably could do is see if I could release any countries out of this. Because what I could do is if we release them, we could try to do a cutoff where the east and west are separated. Ooh, I kind of like that option because I don't really like how powerful um, Bohemia has gotten over time. They they are they are too much of a power player. Hmm. If I do it, I'd have to do a lot of releasing nations because that's what I'd want out of them. Um, where is Bohemia's military strength at at this time? It can't be that low. Is it honestly that low? Don't I have them rivaled? How weak are you? Oh my god. Why am I so powerful? Alright, everybody just go east. Go east. We're gonna go deal with this. I'm gonna station... How many armies is that? That's... That would be one... Two... Three armies that are gonna get involved in this war. Oh yeah, I forgot I could do more manpower increases. Let's do this real quick. There we go. Extra thousand troops apiece. Go on boys, stop the rebellion. It's good for me. Now did I finish that idea group? No I did not. Now I did. Alright, I don't, I don't think there's any good ones I really wanted. Nah, there's really not much else I wanted. We're good. <laughs> Kill that army. The rebellion dies. Now, who is in a war that I can join? Create a war, so enemies, it'd be me, France, Sardinia, Naples, Brittany, French, all France's colonies, and fighting Ming, Deccan, and Switzerland. Ming, French, Imperialist War. Wow. Are you the defenders? Ooh, they are the defenders. What do you own out there that they want? You must have, 
you. You have to have a colony out there. No way Ming will just declare war on you. Just declare war on you. Yeah, there it is. French uh, Malaya. So, because France has some colonies out here, that pisses the Chinese off. Now, I did say rivals. They only have 180... 174,000. Army quality comparisons, I have a whole two on them. Well, about one and a half. In terms of morale, and I bet even army quality, I'm probably better than them. Defensive ideas, offensive ideas, so they did do the same thing I did. They got quantity ideas instead of quality ideas, so their, their combat ability is probably a bit less than mine. I vote send troops up here. Get these religions converted to our half. It will be set in stone. Alright. See, we can either begin the. I think we can go ahead and just start the war. Eh, I'll wait till reinforcements arrive. Who do we lose? Guys out here. I actually want to make sure there's a general out here because these guys could deal with a. They could get ambushed by rebels, and I'd rather them be ready for a fight than not be ready for a fight. Where's some actual unrest at? I'm assuming it's primarily. Yeah, it's primarily in Crimea that they're dealing with it. But that was all dealt with already, so. Let's do this. Everybody else has calmed down. Alright, we need one more army. Some Arkin. Motherfuckers. All the way to here. He's only give me military access. Right over there, get it now. So that's where that crossing was. I didn't see some marking. Now you guys can deal with that. That's nothing. You guys are gonna get four smarts. I'm gonna send you over here as well. Well, if I actually cared enough, I could just... You know what? Screw it. No leader. That's why we got you guys stationed out here. Uh, let's go for this guy. That's why we station you guys out here anyway. And you get off Force March. I don't care about Portuguese, Brazil, and all them. They can all go to hell. Good, you guys are continuing the march east. That's good for us. Conversions are still getting done. I think once I'm done with my end, I'll go ahead and start converting Kremias too, because they're going to need the help. Alright, that's 160,000 troops stationed through here, I think. Yeah, that should be plenty to deal with them. If I have to send more reinforcements, I'll send in more. Netherlands, you'll join. Get in the fight. Push here, push here. I have an army. Where? Oh, it ain't you guys. Is it you? No. It's my land. My land. My land. What 
the hell? Alright, so. I said I was going to try to release, release a few nations. So, one that we can definitely try getting is... Poland is no longer an option. Wow. Um, Silesia. Perfect. That's perfect, because I think... Yeah, their capital is here, so... Blocking, getting Celestia here will basically cut off this smaller section where the capital is located from the eastern section. So that's good. Because I was hoping to do that. I can't get Finland out of it either, though. That sucks. Begin the push north, boys. Now, these sieges should end a lot faster than what I'm used to. Those boosts definitely should be affecting it. And I think Kremia should have all level 6s out in the east, so they should be fine out there too. Siege is over. You guys can go right there actually. I'll let them waste that, because I'll say this much, even though somebody might say you should go kill these, what ends up happening is they suffer from massive attrition if they sit there and keep troops there. Like, 8,000 doesn't seem like a large sum of troops to get attrition with, but it does have an overall impact on how the AI play, because now all of a sudden they're taking attrition, and even though I'm not fighting Bohemia's army anywhere, that's taking away some of their manpower pool. Either A, from recovering, or B, from just taking place. Ooh, you guys lost your general shit. New one. I can live with him. You guys are gonna head there. I guess you guys can head here. Right, I think those troops should have escaped. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and cancel military access through them. We're gonna cancel the other one with Persia. fine with me. You boys can head here. You boys can head here. Yeah, they got a lot of forts. I'm assuming a lot of them have to be underpowered forts because even though I see a lot of them, it doesn't seem like they should all be that powerful. Oh wow, that wall collapsed. Yeah, let me debase my currency again like I always do. I'm not doing that. It's a waste of money. Well, actually, no. It's not really a waste of money. It's just a waste of uh, good legalism at this point. I don't know if I could beat that army or not. That's 43,000 men. I bet I could. Yeah, because, oh wow, because even though I'm declaring, I declared war, another empire declared war on them too. These guys did it. Or actually, who did? Are you only at war with me? I don't have an alliance with those guys. Commonwealth wants out? That I believe. Where's Commonwealth? Commonwealth's over here. Uh, just give me your money and give me war reps. I'm fine. I don't care what you guys do after that. Hey, look at that. I never saw those guys for him. Nishini Novgorod. Huh. I know they're I know they're a, I know they're a thing, but I didn't even know they formed. Um What is my error? Because that's a four four six. Yeah, he's coming to the power. That might be an average claim, but that's 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 good. That's good that's good points. I 
I think 80,000 of my troops should be able to beat the Bohemians pretty badly, so let's go ahead and start pushing in. Where are they going? Where's that 12k stack going? Let's go get them. Getting, we got Phil now, that's good for us. Head over here. You guys are gonna head over here, take that. There. That's good, that's good. Head here. Head down here. They'll learn to like this treaty. Go ahead and head there too. Where is their, their 30% war score, which ain't good. Well, we are. Which is good. Alright, you boys head down here. Poznan has been secured. should be getting close to wanting a peace tree because I took their capital just now. They're at negative 218, but that's just because their army's alive. But if I start fighting it, I bet they'll, they'll one out. Wow, really? Why did my first army die in like a day? Wow, they murdered one army of mine. I didn't think that was possible. Alright, Bohemia. Alright, I'll play ball. You want Duke? What's Duke? Troops head here. Dip a ball into this. Let's go all out. Died. Give me all my reinforcements. I want everybody in on this now. Now they pissed me off. Is there another one of those guys? No. But there is a national unrest one that I actually want. Killed my army. Now their entire people die. Head over here, helps secure that, just in case they try to attack them. All armies go right here. I underestimated them and they beat my ass. Now that I'm going to overestimate it, I'm going to kill their ass. Well, now I'm definitely going to go for this peace deal. This is the one I want. They're not going to get out of this. Kill. Are they really going to retreat to that province? Ooh. Ooh, revenge stack wipe. I like it. Uh, let's go for the Murav armies. Looks like this one we're going to have to deal with. It's a good boost. Yeah, that was good revenge. They stacked wiped me, I stack wiped them back.
You guys can push and go help uh, Kremi out. Alright, so that fort's gonna fall soon. I guess you guys can just head here and siege down the rest. Now, how far off are they from this? About 70 points. 6, 9, 12. That's the one I want. Okay, I shouldn't need reinforcements out here anymore. You guys can all back off. Alright. Take this. You'll learn to like this peace deal. Trust me. Trust me. I know you'll love this peace deal. It's a good deal. It's a very good deal. You get everything you want. Well, at least I do. Come on, just accept it. Accept your fate. Wow, 84,000 rebels. Is that revolutionaries? Ooh, I'm gonna let them. I'm gonna let them simmer. Oh, you let them simmer. Because next if they become revolutionaries, then nobody's going to want to deal with them. Which hurts Bohemia's chances of survival even more so. Uh, who lost a general just now? You guys did. Alright. Get him back. Oh god. We got him. You guys are gonna head up here. We're not gonna try. I'm gonna try to stay away from the revolutionaries as best I can. I don't want to actually fight them. Good. Ah, uh, being an asshole is amazing. Head here. I don't think I'll fight those armies as long as I'm my army's uh exiled. It's still hilarious from my point of view, though. They, they, they literally were doing semi-decent, and then I did that to them. And now they're screwed. Because look at all the revolutionaries they're going to deal with. If Bohemia can't get here, the revolutionaries are going to do a big amount of damage to their uh, force. I'm fine with that. Crimea will get this, this, this. Okay, and up here. Get that too. Again, no cares for that. That's a mistake on my part. We'll let them live. They'll keep that. Click Netherlands instead of them. I'm fine with it. There you go. And how far away are we from? A couple months. Don't know if I'll have enough time to dump. Yeah, that's enough points. Alright. Now what time is it? Uh, I still got a few minutes left. That's good. Uh, let's sit there and see. Any new places here? Any new places? Oh yes, throughout the world. Now, did I not build all these? I must not have. What was I doing in those provinces? I felt like I built all these. Good. Good. My income grows larger. There we go. Revolutionary Spain to the west. Possibility of a revolutionary Bohemia to the east. 
a, be a revolutionary. Well, no, it looks like Ruthenia didn't didn't do it. It'd been funny if they did. All right. So in terms of that, how much more can I get out of the economy? Do it. This is all good shit. There we go. 15k. Good. Good. Now, did I have any more of those I had to do myself? It looks like I only have the one more, so... We're gonna go help Kremi out now. Because they have a lot of different groups that need to get changed up. Now, in terms of rebellions... Yeah, all the rebellions are for them. Number of states just increased again, which is very nice. Question is, is where all is the money at? I saw the two. Two I like. I like that other two there. Several twos. Alright, I think this was a two point. No, Tunisia's already in it. Where's that other two? I thought I saw a 2.9 somewhere up here. Sicily. There you are. There is you there. 2.5 down here. Other places, other places, other places. Yeah, let's get all these states done before I end this. I want the maximum amount of profit, so that's what I'm aiming for. I saw a two. There it is, Central Morocco. That's a nice one. That's another nice one right there. one right here, Toledo. Bam. Uh, funny thing is, is now I have an excuse to go kill Spain again. <laughs> they went revolutionary, so theoretically I have an excuse to go on an all-out war against them. Because the moment they go into like that revolutionary stance, I think most countries don't want alliances with them. So this is a perfectly good way of killing them if I wanted to. Um... But yeah, I think I said it was going to end this. So this episode's going to end here. Uh, we are in 1805. I got probably one more episode. It'll probably be an, it might be an extended episode because I'm going to want to end it. So um, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. We are growing large every day. Everybody else grows weaker amongst us. So let's continue this. It's fun. Except for these pricks. These guys are really big. I might want to kill them. Um, but I don't think they're colonizing. I think this is just what they've absorbed. What is Orot's power at this point? I actually do want to see this. Where are they on this? They have a, over 100,000 troops. That actually ain't bad for what they got. It really ain't. They have a large sum of territory. They're not as strong as Ming, but in sheer girths, they're pretty big. I mean, they own up to the Ural, so that's interesting. Looks like the rest of the world's pretty much at peace, though. I don't see anything else going on. For once, France didn't go revolutionary. That was weird. Sweden did, and then I punched them, and then Spain did it. Which is probably a, a small percentage chance Bohemia might join them, because I see more revolutionary armies popping up, and this is actually a big-ass army. That thing's gonna kill some shit. So we'll find out what happens here in the next episode, so please do those things, and of course, have a good day, guys. I'll see you in the next round of EU4 Ottomans.